Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Lizzie with Homemaking with Lizzie, and we're going to jump right into cleaning and dusting my living room because I have a, just a few things that I want to put out for St. Patrick's Day. I am going to layer it over my Easter decor this year just because the two holidays are so close to each other. And so I didn't want to take down all of my Easter just for St. Patrick's Day for, you know, a little blip of time and then put it all back. So this year I'm just going to put out a couple extra pieces. And so I just wanted to dust real quick so that I'm not putting more decorations out on top of dust. I do want to apologize ahead of time. If you hear any grinding or sawing or any construction sounds in the background, it's because... We are just updating our kitchen a little bit on a budget and that will be something that I plan on filming and sharing with you guys. I live in a 1970s era home and so we have a lot of drop ceilings and we are going to be doing some facelifts, I guess, or updates to our kitchen on a budget. So just, I apologize in advance, but I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Stand up as friends, do it again, do it again, do it again. So I am curious if you guys have any traditional foods that you like to eat and for Easter dinner, I would love to hear them because I am not sure what I want to do. We don't necessarily do anything traditional, it's just kind of whatever I feel like. Most years we do end up doing a ham, but it's not because I'm crazy about ham, it's just because it's different to do. We don't do it really any other time of year. And so if you have any ideas, I would love to have you share them down in the comments below and I would love to pick your brains on that because I'm looking for something different this year. So some other things that will be coming up on my channel this year, like this spring and summer, is I plan on planning my daughter's quinceanera and we are going to be doing it on a smaller budget and it's also going to be an adventure for me because I did not grow up doing these types of traditions and so this will be new for me as a mother to you know my daughter who is half Peruvian so stay tuned for that and then this spring I am also going to be getting my garden boxes filled and I'm going to be planting my garden and I am so excited. I'm, I'm just so excited. I didn't have the chance to plant my garden last year. It was just a little too late. And the growing season here in Utah is pretty short. And so if you miss the window, it's really hard to sneak very many in after that, that time frame. So the other thing is, is I plan on planting a bunch of flowers in my front yard. I love planting flowers. Let me know what kind of things do you like to plant in your yard? You'll go without blinking No, you won't see That I'm lying to be On my own On my own No, you don't hear When I told you I fear We are done That we 
So as you can see, this pantry is very tiny. It is about as deep as it looks. It's, it's very shallow and it's smaller than a closet, I'm going to be honest. And so I thought, oh, okay, my pantry, I know it's like run, run down and, and it's just got a lot of stuff in it. But the more I started working on it, the more I realized, holy crap, I have so much stuff that I've packed in here because I just haven't had the time to stop and refresh it and, you know, declutter it and organize it. And so more crap keeps getting pushed in there and pushed in there. I was shocked how much stuff we packed in there. So towards the middle, I started getting overwhelmed. I was like, oh man, what did I get myself into? It was covering all my counters. It was covering some of my table and I was just like, oh my gosh, which doesn't always happen to me. I, I actually enjoy decluttering and organizing. Um, it feels really good to know that even though the door's closed, whatever you open up to, you know, whichever closet it is, it's not going to come you know, tumbling out at you and just be like a nightmare. And so I do normally enjoy this, but because I'm not the only one that comes through here, you know, my kids are in and out of this pantry and if I don't stay on top of it, it just gets away from me. So I, I had to kind of like tell myself like, okay, how are you going to feel when you finish this? Just push through. You can do it. It's not as scary as you think. And so what I had to actually do, because every time I turned around and looked at my countertops, I'm like, this all just looks like a jumble. None of it looks like it belongs anywhere. And so I had to really put on my analysis lens, you know, and just say, okay, I need to group things with like things and I need to put all of my storage containers. If they're dirty, I need to put them by the sink to be washed. And if they're clean, I need to set them over on the table. You know, I was just creating piles and it really helped, you know, get my train of thought straightened out and then I was able to really push through till the end and I was so happy with the way this turned out but if you have a space in your house that's feeling a little overwhelming for you there's a couple ways you can tackle it you can do the whole thing and take it out like I did which this really needed it there was no way around you know doing that especially if I wanted it to be done in one day which I did um, but you don't always have to just tackle the whole thing. You could tackle one shelf. You could tackle one basket. You could do say, hey, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes because that's how much time I have before, you know, I got to go pick up my kids or rent a, an appointment and just do bite size amounts and not the whole thing at once because sometimes that is overwhelming and then you want to give up. If any of you have your own tips and tricks or suggestions, please share with the rest of us down in the comments below. We all need some help and some ideas of how to, you know, tackle our everyday tasks in an easier, more efficient way.
I'm laying down at the compartment Oh no, I see you only when you're balling Oh no, I don't even care to doubt I'll see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you So for this pantry refresh, I didn't pick up anything new to, you know, store things in. I just used what I already have on hand. I like to collect pieces as I find them at the store, and that way I'm not going out and spending a bunch of money all at once and spending at the prices that they only have available at that time. So if I find something on a good deal, I'll get it then. If I find a piece that I know that I've been looking for for a while and I'm willing to invest in it, then I will pick it up. But other than that, I just always am checking while I'm at the dollar store because I have a lot of pieces from the dollar store, which I'm sure a lot of you do too. And I've gotten some things at Home Goods, and I've gotten things at Big Lots, and I've even gotten things at Walmart. So these black baskets that have my onions in them, that is from Big Lots. The white basket here on my counter is, a, I think it was a pack of two, I believe, at Walmart. And it was a reasonable price. They've held up really well and they look decent. And these little plastic snack trays or storage bins, I had been wanting something like these for a long time. And so when I found them at, I believe, TJ Maxx, I just swooped on them. I didn't hesitate. And so some of these things aren't, you know, dollar store prices, but they're things that I've been using for years and years. And so I consider them an investment to my mental health. So what places in your house are you planning on like reorganizing or getting into shape? I still have a few places in my home, but I am curious if you would like to see a specific place in my home uh, be reorganized and decluttered. Maybe to give you some inspiration and some ideas and let's be honest, some motivation. It's so hard to do these things by ourselves sometimes. And when we can see other people doing the same things that we're doing, it really does motivate us. So if there's anywhere you'd like to see me clean my house, please leave it in the comments down below. And I would love to add it to my list of things to declutter this spring. No more, we don't 
Okay, now I'm just taking out the candles of these lanterns and dumping out the fall potpourri that I left in there all winter. And yeah, I don't want these candles to melt, so I'm gonna be taking them out and bringing them inside and then throwing the rest of that stuff away. And a lot of leaves and dust and dirt has blown onto my porch, so I'm just cleaning that up. This is just a quick clean. I am not doing a full-on spring clean of my porch. When I do that, I will get my compressor out and hook it up to my hose and really give my house a good washing and, and rinsing down. And so that will help with a lot of the dirt and dust and even the chalk that my kids have gotten on my house and on my doorstep there that you can see, you know, kids are kids and they just have fun. and. I try not to get too upset because one day they're not going to be doing chalk anymore and I actually do like the chalk um, coming out and seeing the little things that they've drawn and you know the little creations they've made and so it really doesn't bother me a whole lot um, but here you guys I have struggled so much with this porch with the way my door is facing and I don't even know. There's just so many quirks to my porch. I've lived here for eight years and I still feel like I have not nailed down my porch. And I've thought, okay, maybe I'll get like a chair or something cute to put my porch in. It's just not very deep. So if I were to put a chair, it would have to be a really small chair. And I'm just afraid that somebody would like step off the curb, including myself. <laughs> The little step there and twist their ankle or something because it's so close to the edge so if you have any suggestions of you know ideas of how i should do my porch please you know just let me know i am dying for any kind of insights or ideas and willing to try pretty much anything so i just want my porch to feel welcoming and you know a reflection of what's going to be seen and felt on the inside and so it really is a big deal to me to have my porch feel like a little extension of my home on the inside. Now we're gonna move into an overview of my porch and I'm so happy that you joined me today. If you received any value out of this video, I would so appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.